Hello everybody, welcome back to Mass Effect. We're on the Nexus, we're about to talk to the leadership of the Nexus to see uh, about this whole Meridian situation and talk to them about what to do about it. Ryder, I've got news about Kerry. But before we do that, we're going to speak to Kerry's producer, Hakim. Hakim, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. Of course she has. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. I actually Remember, will stop by. She's, uh... Actually, I think the militia, militia cells are on the way to where we're going, so that'll be really convenient to just stop by there, actually. So, let's do that first. Operations. A ray of hope for sleep-starved residents. Maintenance begins on malfunctioning sun lamps, causing unending daylight in some Nexus quarters. This oh my gosh. Unending sunlight? You gotta be kidding me. That's, that's terrible. Uh, third, first galaxy problems? I don't know what that is. Uh, see, the uh, cells are over here. I'm sorry, just trying to boost our morale. Hello, Carrie. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hakim said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. They didn't hurt you, did they? Nothing's hurt except my dignity. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. Some gum? I'm right here, hero. Trust me, this is safer than exile. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I'll send word if anything changes. Sweet. Alright, so this is Tan's office. That's our destination. And I assume all the rest of the Nexus leadership is there. Pathfinders, all that stuff, probably. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. Yet I have to question what we gained provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. Yeah, that fight's coming anyway, man. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. You'll be spread out then and easy to hit. This Sam of yours. We no. took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I'm grateful, Ryder, but I can't support your plan. Whatever. Then I will. Yay. And so will I. Hey. I agree. Hey. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. Oh. What an ass. Tan, you're still being an ass. You feel a little threatened, buddy? What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Hmm. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later in the tech lab. 
I don't know what she's gonna say to us. We did, we lied to her. We did, we did, we did tell her that Dad was still alive, so let's see what happens. Sarah. You lied to me. Oh shit. You said Dad was Pissed. alive. Oh, Sarah. Why? Uh, it was, it was, it was for her health. That's the reason why I chose to do that. So, yeah, we're gonna go with this. I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't jeopardize your recovery. Yeah, but delaying the truth? Meant I'd be here for you when you heard it. We're all that's left, Scott. I know. But... Two riders are more than enough to take on this galaxy. You got a head start on me. What's this about you being a Pathfinder? Yeah, Dad's crazy idea of a joke. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. Not yet. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? The Pathfinder. The Pathfinder, that's who. <laughs> Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. Oh, yes, sir. Pathfinder, sir. <laughs> oh. oh, who are we kidding? <laughs> I saw you eat your own boogers when you were six. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Rider, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. I will, but I'm totally gonna talk to Sarah first, so, yep. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Really? Yeah. Really? I'm a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe, too? The, the one critique I, critique I really have that I hate about this game is this dedication to this angle to speak to people. It is so terrible. It is the worst possible angle ever because more often than not, the person you talk to ends up being like behind you or below the camera. Like just angle the camera down and talk to her, but it won't. It's not smart enough to do that and it's really annoying. <sighs> okay, I got that out of my system. <laughs> um, did they make you president of the universe too? Uh, yeah, election is tomorrow actually, yeah. Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose <coughs> patient has their say. Vote rider. Yeah. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. <laughs> you should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner, she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. And something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about mom and dad. What about them? Thought you might want to know how dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. It was hard to tell with dad. He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. All those times I yelled at him growing up. You and me both. This is a better way to remember him. Yeah. What do you remember about how they met? As mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. 
She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing, and failing, but she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her, then I remembered. Dad talked about her, before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this med bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit, fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Ouch. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. All right. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. So I understand, like, the reason why these conversations go like that. Um, because it wants to inform the player, wants to inform me. But uh, doesn't it seem a little odd that Ryder wouldn't know any... Like, Scott wouldn't know any of those things, and Sarah did? Wouldn't that... Doesn't that seem a little strange? I mean, granted, she's like, she's older, but not that much older, right? They're twins, so, uh, like, you'd think they'd have basically the same knowledge, especially of Dad. If anything else, I mean, maybe I'm just being a traditionalist here, but if anything, I would think Scott would have a bit more on Dad than Sarah would, but I, I don't know. It just seems like... One sibling has significantly more information to share than the other about their history. But I understand why they did it that way in the game, because you have to inform the player. Uh, and the only way to do that is for the player to ask the questions a lot of times. All right, so I think the tech lab is up here. Yep. So we'll head in here. And the Pathfinders have an idea. Really welcome to hearing it. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The cat won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Oh, nice. This means going against the initiative. We're on our own. You didn't hear that. Hear what? 
We've been collating gamma charts all day. Mm-hmm. A risk comes with a job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Except we haven't been paid. <laughs> I, I like this. Sure, if they pay us once in a while. Not likely after this. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. Thanks. You guys Large are so Cubicles helpful. Large Cubicles' technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. How many have they incorporated? How much of Andromeda's life has been suffocated or lost? I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. well hopefully our best stuff has been kept, you know, for ourselves. Uh, does Aridana have anything else to say? The beauty of the cosmos unfolds in your planet scans, Pathfinder. But there is more they can do. Do you have something in mind, Doctor? Plans for a school are underway to inspire a new generation of young minds. Cool. I want to craft a model of the cluster for them, accurate and splendid from your data. My prototype is on that console. Add more scans to improve it, and I will share my educational budget with you. And my thanks. Access the terminal. Uh, is it this one? This cluster model... For Dr. Eridana, the three initial system models can, will be complete by next week. We shall see our place in the world. Uh, six daughters will not know stasis. The 600 years sleeping. This cluster is in chaos, was not welcoming. It brings. So, is this like. Um, I don't see a model of that, but all right. Final proposal. Since we are by definition an invasive species in Andromeda. Kind of picks up in the middle of a sentence there. Our inevitable footprint must be laid carefully, and we must pr uh, preserve anything we replace. The Helios Cluster presents an unexpected challenge. We arrived with seed archives and DNA banks to ensure preservation of the biodiversity of the Milky Way. But this cluster is scarred by the scourge, and its unique flora and fauna are threatened by its turbulence. That, too, requires conservation. Luckily, we have the Angara, allies who conserve as a matter of necessity. The Scourge hampered their efforts, but we can build on their foundation, both to preserve and to learn how life flourished in both our, their galaxy and ours. The Ket show little interest in preservation, only in consuming what they find and removing its uniqueness in favor of assimilation. Kind of sounds like humans, actually. Uh, therefore, it falls to us. We must gather what we can to ensure these first precious examples of life beyond the Milky Way are not lost forever. Geophysics 6, beta build, patch notes, Chief Lucan. Uh, streamlined interface of the Omni tool. Okay, so she's building some sort of, uh, I, I don't know what she's doing. V, is, it, is it 6 or is it VI? It might be VI. I don't know. It says scan plants across Helios. Well, look at this. 91 out of 50 is already done. So that's taken care of. Ha 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 ha. See, doing all this extra stuff paid off immediately. Now I can talk to Eridana and get my money, right? No, I can't talk to her. She's right here. She said she'd share her educational budget with me. It's okay. It's fine. I don't need your money. Okay, so I was going to head towards the priority op. Uh, that's the journey to Mer Meridian, right? And integrate the storm technology into the Tempest. But I noticed, I, I just checked it randomly, and I noticed that we have a memory unlocked now uh, for Rider Family Secrets. So let's go get that first, because uh, we all like memories, right? And then uh, we'll continue to the Tempest from there. All right, Sam Node. Here we go. Let's see what our dad was up to this time. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. Oh. What was it Gian Garson said? The code word is fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Let's see who this mystery figure is. Castus, thanks for calling. And a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. 
And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And then Seven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. So we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll oh, tell the shit. kids when the time is right. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, that's huge. Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. There's still hope for your mother. Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. That's incredible news, actually, yeah. He should have told you? I don't know about that, but yeah, this. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. Exactly that. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name, Elizabeth Riley. That is great. So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alec's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant, that something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. Hmm. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Oh, we're gonna read those too. Oh man. Got it. I need to go find mom. That's a lot of information. I'm glad we went here first. Uh, let's go to the quarters first and read those new additional logs. Um, 
I want to see what Alex said about the Reapers coming and stuff. In case you're not up to date with Mass Effect and stuff, this Reaper story with Commander Shepard, this is the entire, this is what the trilogy, uh, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 was all about. So, it's kind of just recapping Your all that right now. Personal logs. Uh, Milky Way Emergency, that. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down! Oh, that noise, man. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that sound. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, sir. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arcs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember the people of the Milky Way as you knew them could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Ah, uh, man, I was hoping she would say something that would, uh like tell me exactly sort of where in the story where in the the mission with the reapers in mass effect 3 i was kind of hoping that something that she said would kind of trigger us for as far as like where we were in the in the campaign right when she when she sent this message but uh it's probably very early um i, I would imagine it's probably like an initial attack kind of thing she said she's with she was with shepherd so uh, it's just really awesome to hear liara's voice what am, who am i kidding here <laughs> alec this is gian garson for the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are and all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. We didn't get a chance to do that, did we? Jen. I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the Benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. Okay, shit. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Oh man, okay. I, I, I'm just taking it all in right now. And uh... So we know what happened. We don't know that everybody like we don't know if the you know the end of the third game was a success or a failure. But we definitely know that the Reapers were real and they came and Shepard was there and he was right and uh, all that stuff. So like at least that is known to the people of, of Andromeda now. And uh, you know Ryder can <sighs> Ryder can talk about it when he's ready. And tell people. You know what happened tell the story right but uh, he can tell his sister 
right now, I think. Or at least some things. Um, specifically, whoops. Wait a minute. Oh, it's this way. Specifically, he needs to tell uh, his sister that mom's alive. Like, that's crazy cool. But uh, I think we are going to be meeting our mom right now. Or at least seeing her stasis pod and deciding whether or not to wake her up. I imagine one of the docs is probably going to tell us that waking her up is going to be a risk and that it, she might not be better and there, there might be a decision are. to make What's there. Going on? Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? Uh, let's just be blunt about it. I could have milked this a little, but this is mom. What? I saw dad's last memory. He brought her. ER isn't Elizabeth Riley. It's Ellen Ryder. Oh my God. How is this possible? Apparently, putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive. Reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Yeah, we gotta cure her then. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive. And that your accomplishments will one day save her life. <laughs> Won't she be surprised? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. No way we're losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill together. Sam, you're very human. Just saying, like for, for a for a computer program, for just being lines of code, if you will, you're very human. Hang in there, mom. We missed you. Okay, shall we proceed? After a high-profile exile, Krogan are returning to the Nexus. The Krogan have been welcomed back into the initiative after officials accepted their push for equal status. Clan leader Nakmor Morda welcomed the support and resources new Tachanka will now receive. I can't it's wait about to time. This is <laughs> What an extensive interview that is. <laughs> the initiative has found the Apparently the Krogan are uh, being welcomed back into the, uh, the initiative and they interviewed Morda like this is what she had to say about it. It's about time. <laughs> this is HNS. <laughs> Ryder, could we chat? Yeah, Callow. We totally can, man. What's up? Ah, there you are. I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? Um, e e every, everything? I, I was busy at the time, you know. I didn't really have time for a detailed investigation. Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Hoax? I don't know. It was sent to us by a Solarian. I could tell by the way they're talking. Well, if it is something going on with it, we should probably take a look at it. Now that I think about it, a cat armada just stumbling across the Solarian Ark seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen. So when you put it like that, I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. Uh, you know what? Let's track that one instead. 
we'll do that one first. I think we should have all the knowledge and all the information we, we know uh, beforehand. Actually, you know what? We can integrate the, the systems into the, into the Tempest um, because that is the objective. We can integrate it into the Tempest um, and then... Because that's, that's what the objective is. It's not like go to Meridian right now or anything. So let's do this first. Uh, we got to go this way. It's 30 meters that way. Right here. All right. Ghost Storm Technology. The Ghost Storm Technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian then. I'll call a meeting immediately. No. No, actually I won't. But... Uh, the final push meeting is something that we're going to do very soon, and it's going to be the next video. Uh, but uh, for the end of this video, I want to go check out what Callow said. So let's do that first. Let's track uh, this right here, Truth and Trespass. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming, in theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. 